new television channel in Egypt. It's known as Maria TV, and it features women that are wearing the niqab. In, in fact, the only women that get hired for uh, the show on the channel wear the niqab. Okay, so it's a really interesting story because these are women who say they have chosen to wear the niqab. In fact, uh, they have been discriminated against in Egypt. Whenever they go apply for jobs, they get turned down and they, people tell them, no, we can't hire you unless you take that, you know, uh, niqab off. And so, so as... So, do we have the video? We do have the video. I uh, just want to show people right away. Okay. This is the best part. All right, it's a CNN report. Let's take a look. On Maria TV, awesome. it's all about her voice. The audience her? will never see her face. All the women, from the presenters to producers, are veiled How from you know head to toe. Like a first for Egyptian television. Camera woman Heba Sarakradin says she couldn't get a TV job after graduation just because she was veiled. I was her told that a niqab's cute. existence in television is rejected. I felt despair because I couldn't work in my field, she says. The door of my employment was closed until I came across the ad for this channel. Okay, all right, so it, complicated situation. Uh, number one, I'm massively against them, okay? Uh, they look ridiculous. They look like they're out of a Star Wars movie. They look like they're Mrs. Boba Fett. Uh, and they got the gloves to go along with it. They get covering every square inch. God forbid that anybody should, a man should see like an inch of female skin, he's gonna lose it. Oh my God, and tear off his clothes and bite somebody's face. There's even a strip of cloth that goes down like the nose, which I, I don't, like, I mean, I, it, they're literally covered head to toe. The only thing showing is their eyes, and that's because if they couldn't see, then they couldn't do anything at all. <laughs> like, this is insanity, right? So I agree yeah. with you on that, but but, you, but now, but look, on the other hand, uh, you know, if you want to do a show where you look absolutely ridiculous, I mean, it's not like we don't do it. It's called Jersey Shore. <laughs> okay, we've got our snooky. You've got your snooky covered up in a niqab. And so freedom, baby. God bless. And uh, should they be allowed to do the show? Of course, right? But then there's, and they've been suppressed in Egypt for a long, long time. Now they're not as suppressed. They get to do this. It's terrific, okay? Uh, on the other hand, when you uh, interview the owner of the station, who happens to be a male, by the way, uh, he comes and says, no, the problem is that, you know, you've got the, if you have a democracy, these women start taking off their clothes and all that. Wait a minute, I thought you wanted the democracy so you could put this television show on. So you love the freedom when it applies to you, but you hate the freedom when it comes to other people. I mean, their main argument is we've been repressed in Egypt. That's true, right? But what do you do to your own women? I mean, this is not repression to cover them head to toe. I know you do enough propaganda so that they buy into it, right? But I mean, you're literally throwing a sheet over them. I mean, that's almost a definition of repression. You're repressing how they look, how they dress, etc. So very these fundamentalists, you got to watch out, man. The minute you let them be in charge, all of a sudden the rules are not what they claim they wanted. They, they remind me of the Republicans here. Oh, we want disclosure if we have unlimited campaign contributions. Oh, we have campaign contributions. Now we don't want disclosure anymore. And it, that's kind of the problem with de, like a, a developing democracy, right? Because when you have religious fundamentalists in the country, they can easily use propaganda to get elected. And if they get elected and they take over the country, then what are you going to do? Well, that's how democracy works, right? No, you let well, the people decide. Right. Now, the thing is, you, hopefully, that there is somebody enforcing the Constitution and the overall laws protecting democracy in places like Egypt which I think there will be. I, I think the army is not mm -hmm. uh, fundamentalist, so they, they, they would have some sort of check on the fundamentalists once they've taken over. Just because you win in a democracy doesn't mean you get to trash the democracy. And Muslim Brotherhood, well, by the way- Well, that happens here in the United States, so I feel like it's not far-fetched for it to happen in Egypt. No, no, you gotta be on the lookout for it. No yeah. question about it, you gotta be careful. Muslim Brotherhood has won in Egypt, right? That doesn't mean that they've lost the democracy. It doesn't mean they agree with the guy who runs that TV station. I wanna be clear about that. Mm -hmm. But now, I do want to make fun of them just a little bit more. They have a show on that channel run by women, owned by a man, by the way, on makeup. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> oh, wow, you know what? Mm, that is some pretty good makeup. How do you figure out who's who? You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. another, like, how can you tell hey, them? Hey, Aisha, how you doing? Oh, sorry, that's Fatma. <laughs> that's a little difficult to do, yeah. She's got some makeup on. And her eyes look cute. 
But you know, the funny thing is, so they use this, of course, as an excuse to, to in my mind, oppress and repress women, right? But what it really says is, men are barbaric animals. They cannot control their urge. If they see any flesh of any woman, they will immediately rape. 